We are home in beautiful Houston, Texas, going up against the Giants, a juggernaut of an offense, hopefully not so good of a defense, though, oh, big time hit, please point at him, Justin Herbert, <laughs> 22 touchdowns to one interception, somehow they, they upgraded from Daniel Jones to Justin Herbert, they still have Saquon Barkley, this is going to be a potent offense, and our defense is tasked with stopping it, okay, definitely looks like a run now. Oh my god! I thought I thought for sure they were handing it off right there, but I was able to swerve by him with Rashad Gary and do a little dance on Justin Herbert's grave. Third and 15, big time sack! Our defense has done a great job so far applying the pressure. We have to be able to... Oh my god. I was gonna say, we have to be able to lock up now. Derek Stingley Jr. Our number one CB injured for this game. Pretty atrocious play right there. Passing it off to Saquon Barkley. We stuff him. Down the field. Oh my god. Jermaine Clogg, make a play. Come on, make a play. Let's go. <laughs> we end up batting it down. Justin Herbert trying to throw a quick slant, but we had players all over there. Our defense is able to make the stop right there. Yancey played much better better last week oh, i think only one interception a couple of touchdowns it was a nice time pierce also played super well let's try running to the outside this apparently is not a good defense i think a 77 overall so i'm really hoping we can take advantage on offense and get something going but already it's third and ten i see an opening cooks able to hold on even through traffic tripping over an opponent and that will be a first down great job by cooks i don't want to give up on the running game yet i feel like we can get something going pierce oh, man blocks just not not great pierce going forward now third and two okay this is what i want to try to do this game i want to try to control the tempo nice and slow have most of the possession time i think that's going to be the key don't want to give their offense ooh, an opportunity to do anything let's try airing it out now i like that right there from bateman using his speed and getting us great yardage right there yancey two for two we're keeping it simple and bateman after the catch making a great play Passing it off to Matt Blanket. Uh, with that, though, we will settle for the three points. <laughs> Big time hit. Three points is better than nothing, and we took a lot of time off the clock as well. And I love the defense we're showing. Wow, Saquon Barkley still fighting, getting those two yards. Kind of juked Tub Custard out of his boots, but I still love the pressure that we provided right there. Let's get into a bit of a cover. Oh, and they do end up handing it off to Saquon Barkley. Brushing off one tackle and getting the first down. First and ten. Saquon Barkley. Wow. Oh, that isn't Saquon. Who is that? Stapleton. Stapleton? Oh, my God. Their coach looks like he's fresh out of the womb. His hair is slicked. <laughs> Herbert. Check down to Saquon. Oh, I tried wrapping up. I held A. I didn't even truck. And uh, they get the first down. And Barkley will take it up the middle. Wow. He kind of ran into Gary there. Still gets the first down, though. End of the first quarter. Giants are making their way up the field, but I like so far what our defense is doing. We're not making it easy on them by any means. Oh. Somehow the pass gets off to him. <sighs> I hate playing man if they end up do-throwing it, but I think this would be a good opportunity to stop Barkley in the backfield. And they do actually hand it off. A little jet pass. Oh, it's a little screen pass to Barkley, but we're all over it. Beautifully done. Third and ten. Our defense has done a great job stopping them on few occasions, and we end up getting the bump. Tight end is not able to hold on to it, and that brings up fourth and ten. They're going to go for the field goal? Wow, this is a long kick. <laughs> that was embarrassing. That poor management will get the ball with pretty great field position as well. 
Whoa! A very... Wait, wait, what? Okay, wait a second. I saw Cleveland right here. Um, running... Running to, I think, embrace number 69 over there on the sideline. It's like he found his long-lost brother that he hadn't seen for 20 years. Um, and that's who I actually thought I was passing it to because... <laughs> I was like, why would anyone else be that far away? So, blocking was a bit of an issue that time. Alright, third and long. We're passing it over to Bateman. He makes... No, he's not able to wrap it in at the end. Such a nice attempt, but unfortunately, it's a quick four and out for our offense. Just kind of weird play calling, I guess. They are very likely to run the ball right here. Oh, and they actually are going for a pass. Oh, my God. Of course. <laughs> Single coverage with Jermaine Clogg usually is not going to work out too well. I think it's the same play. And this time, Jermaine Clogg is able to stick with his man and make the play. Oh, yeah. Big time so hot. Third and ten. Saquon, we just got to wrap up. Extending forward, they're going to give it to him. Down the field, Jermaine Clogg. Oh, man. I mean, that ended up going into my zone. Tub Custer breaking through the tackle and tackling Saquon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be a good play call if it's a run right here. Oh, my God. Uh, the tight end didn't know that the pass was being thrown to him. It's another attempt from down the field. Uh oh. Did I end up getting a roughing the kicker? No. I've never gotten that foul this game ever. I've never done that. Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> I've, I've played so much of this game and I always just absolutely smash into the kicker and it's never called. What did I do differently this time? <laughs> I've done this so often, and it never animates where the kicker actually gets hit. Oh, that's a big time mistake by my team. To be fair, it never happens. I don't think, I didn't think it could happen. Just like how like QBs can't get injured anymore. I thought for sure, oh my God. I mean, wide open. <laughs> Let me get him again. Our offense should be able to do something here. Oh my god. Immediately, Bateman with the catch! And he has the legs! Can he beat the safety? I think he can! The 10! The 5! The touchdown! I wanted to do like the number calling there at the end, but it, he was so fast, I couldn't. He was already in the end zone. One play, and we take the lead right back. Great job by Yancey to get it to him, and of course Bateman to hold on and use his speed after the play. That is a mismatch. Oh my god. In the backfield, Rajon Gary. Oh, Justin Herbert getting the pressure. He's so smart though, throwing it away. He only has one interception on the year. I find that is insane. I'll try to make it two. There it is, Saquon Barkley with the check down. Oh man, a quick, quick little out slant route to the tight end. I don't know what type of route that is. Uh, it was a good play, though, to get the first down. Justin Herbert getting the pressure, and there's the sack. This time it's Percy Peedle. They're not giving us any time, though, to celebrate. Ah, that was, that was my man, and that was an, actually a pretty good play, but it still brings up third and 12. Oh, the same little route to their tight end. This time, though, Walker... Great job pushing him out of bounds. That will bring up fourth and five. <laughs> okay, let's not let's not hit the kicker. I think he can make this kick. I believe in you, dude. And this time I will not pounce on you. It's up through the uprights and they tie the game up. <laughs> Finally they make a field goal. I see him. No! Oh, it's an interception. This bump sucks. Yeah, that was, that was the bump that I wasn't expecting. I was reading this guy's hips, right? Like he's coming back to the right side. And unfortunately, we do give them pretty good field position. We're asking a lot from our defense again. We got to make a stop right here. I know that was my guy. 
but a part of me really thought he was going to check down to that one guy right there. I got to trust my, my other teammates, though, to cover that. Oh, my God, Justin Herbert getting tub custard. Passing it off to Saquon. We will wrap up. They're just going to get the three points and get the lead. I think that's the smart thing to do. Ten seconds, maybe you could do a throw, but you don't want to throw it to someone and they go down and you don't get any points. I thought I did do the same thing where I dove at the kicker. <laughs> this time. You <laughs> see, that, that's what that happens 20 times out of 21 times. <laughs> One-handed catch by Bateman. We are getting the ball to start off the second half. Down by three. I think as long as we don't make too many mistakes on offense, I'm pretty confident about this game. Um, their offense isn't as scary as I thought it would be. And their kicker also sucks. Matt Blanket, solid as ever, extending forward, gets us the first down. We had the time, passing it off to Cooks. Great catch, great protection in the pocket. Cooks with that elite speed. We're a little predictable. We're running on every first down. But I like the yardage we're getting, so I'm going to keep doing it. Pierce, finding an opening. The blocks are great. These slants are kind of killing this team. I don't really know exactly why, but... Mm. Low pass to Matt Blanket. What a catch. Yancey in the zone. And guess what? I forgot to change his X-Factor ability. He has the one that like highlights the person that's open first. It's not very good, so I'm probably going to change that. But uh, I forgot to this game. So we'll get another four yards with Pierce. They say he's open, and I believed it, and we got a touchdown. Great catch by Cooks. The defender was kind of close. I'm glad we didn't get a cheese animation, and we walk away with a touchdown right there. I mean, maybe this X-Factor ability works. Maybe the game thinks like, okay, if this person's open, we're going to make sure that they don't get intercepted. I don't think that's the case, though. I'm really worried that that is going to screw me one of these times. But for now, we do get the touchdown, and we will take the four-point lead. That was my zone right there, and I will pay severely as Tony, Tony Two Shoes, doing a little dance. That was my zone right there, using his speed after the play to get them a touchdown, and now the Giants are going to take a three-point lead. Oh, it makes me sad. Great catch by Cooks, using his speed. I like Shepard in single coverage. And we'll hand it off to Jordan, our tight end. He was open for a long time. I wanted to see if there was anything down the field I was interested in. It looked like nobody was going to end up covering him. So I think that was a great play right there. Another first down. It's a fumble. Oh, we have to recover. Please wrap up. Ben, I'm home. Sorry. No. Oh, no. Teddy, why would you do that to us? I saw Pierce go through, come back, and then the defender would have to choose between Pierce and Matt Blanket. And he chose Pierce, so I threw it to Matt Blanket, but unfortunately, the pressure came to us at that same time. And with that, the Giants are going to take a 10-point lead. This was a massive swing. Tough mistake to make on offense. You hate to see that. Um, hopefully, we can learn from that. Hopefully, we can grow. Matt Blanket. The pass is behind him. This one to Shepard. Don't know if I like this play a lot, but we'll try it out. Yancey doing a little bit of scrambling himself. We'll slide down. Second and one. End of the third quarter, down by 10. The right side looks juicy as long as these blocks can hold. I think this could be a big gain for us. And they do! And Pierce extending forward, trucking through the defender! That safety was brushed off like butter on my chest. <laughs> the pressure's getting to us. <laughs> Cheeky little move by Matthew Blanket. I like the outside right here. Pierce pushing forward. 
wide open in the middle. Bateman catching it. They say he's down. Let's do a no huddle. Let's do a jet sweep. Just kidding. Yancey pushing through as a fake QE sneak the entire time. Great job by Yancey. <laughs> if I had messed that up, I would have been so sad right there. <laughs> An improvised QB sneak. You can't do that with just any quarterback. It had to be Yancey. And with that, we limit the lead to only four. Let's go and make a defensive play. Obviously don't want to give up anything, but if they don't run it right here, then I don't know how to play football. They'll hand it off to Saquon Barkley. We got to wrap up. Good job. They're handing it off again. Saquon getting stopped again. Our run defense has been exceptional today. And now it's third and seven. This is what I wanted for Christmas. I wanted us to get a stop right here. It's a fail. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a handoff late. And Saquon isn't able to make it. Great awareness by our entire defense. Poor commentating by me, but that's all right. <sighs> Calm down. Let's breathe. Let's get us the yardage we know we can get. Pierce going forward. Third and five. I didn't really see anybody open right there. And then, of course, the pressure did get to me. So that really sucks. Fourth and 15. I'm going to punt it, and I'm going to trust my defense to be able to get a stop. I think we can do it again. We did really well last time. A little unfortunate. We couldn't get anything. Oh, big time hit Petrie. I think it would be smart of them to throw it right here. I don't think they're going to, though. I think they're scared. Oh, no, they are going to throw it to their tight end. Oh! Woo! Wrap up! I... How did Devin White let that... Was that Devin White? That's my man. Tafont. Oh, man. Why am I using him? Uh, let's go to Jello Box Trap. Try to stop Saquon Barkley. Oh, getting trying to go around the outside. Gets nothing on that play. Second and goal. They will check it down to Saquon. And again, losing yards. That brings us to the two-minute warning. Oh! Uh... Well, <laughs> sorry, I don't really know what happened right there. Our defense gets the stop. Um, I kind of left the guy open, I'm going to be honest. And I think Justin Herbert tried to make that pass. Ed Oliver, probably w saving us from losing the game right here, uh, getting to Justin Herbert as he threw it. And that will limit them to three. It is going to be a six-point game. Cue the dramatic music. We have a minute, 52 to get us a touchdown and win the game. Okay, that was not a good start. Great job by Cooks. He's been our go-to so far today. We'll do a no huddle. This time we'll send him to the Verts. He's open, going out of bounds. We'll pass it off to Pierce. Ugh. I mean, stepping out of bounds, so it stops the clock. Cooks, able to hold on. Great job right there. I'm going to throw it away. I didn't like anything right there. We're trusting Matt Blanket. Making the catch and falling forward. We're going to call a timeout right there. I see him. Can he get the catch? Cooks! Oh, the defender helping on the right side comes in and prevents that touchdown. Giving him a chance. Bateman, oh! Uh, why is Cooks uncovered? I hate that throw right there. What? What was that? We're giving up to Matt Blanket. He makes the catch. We'll call a timeout, extending the drive. Fourth and 10, we were able to make a completion when it mattered. With 36 seconds left, one timeout, 15 yards to go. I am completely fine going down the middle. I want to air it out. 
Wanna go for it, baby. Yancey! Going for it himself and he takes it all the way! It's a Houston Texan touchdown! I was thinking, oh, Yancey, maybe I should slide. No, he's a champion. That's two rushing touchdowns for Yancey. And with that, we will take the lead. I was so nervous right there. I was so nervous then. <laughs> what a play. 30 seconds left. We take the one point lead. Yancey running it in for, what was that, 15 yard rush right there? His second rushing touchdown. Unbelievable performance by him innovating taking his team on the back he didn't see an opening that he liked he said i'll take this myself and now with 26 seconds remaining new york has to try to score right here first and 10 they have all their timeouts remaining oh my god uh justin herbert are you insane I kind of I kind of wanted to sauce him right there. <laughs> Justin Herbert with the second interception of the season comes via Jeff Okuda. And barring any catastrophe, we have come away with a sneaky win this game. Incredible play by everyone involved. They're going to call a timeout. They just want to give us more stats. We get the win by one point. All the extra points counted today. <laughs> Thank God I didn't miss any. I mean, what a comeback. What tenacity from Yancey. We held them to 36 rushing yards. That is insane. Couldn't have done this without Damian Pierce. Got him 100 yards on the game. Rashad Bateman. Four receptions for 130. That's what happens when you make a big time play. And he definitely did that for us today. We actually got all of our objectives today. <laughs> we even got the scenario goal. That is... 27 snap points which will go to definitely making our team a lot better our objective was to hold saquon barkley to under 75 yards and we got him <laughs> to only 36. anytime you can make an offensive one-dimensional it makes it easier to have success isn't that what i exactly said come on all defensive linemen will have plus five block shedding for the next two games dude tub custard is going to eat and all linebackers will have plus five pursuit for the next two games and then plus five morale five morale for all defensive players <laughs> that was a really nice objective to win the giants were on a win streak apparently i can kind of see why they have an elite offense we were able to take care of business though great job oh my god with those upgrade our defense goes from an 85 to an 87 these are just temporary but we now have an 85 overall team for the next two games. Oh, here we go. Let's upgrade our cornerbacks a little bit. I think pursuit is probably the most important right here. And, and then we'll do boost to catching. It is our bye week, which means there is a prospect that apparently one of my scouts wants me to look at. Middle linebacker Nathan Clinton. He is a high football IQ. Well, as you know, my fellow GM, I am quite the academic as well. I have 140 IQ. It is merely because of society that I have not been able to fornicate. Nathan Clinton is who he recommended. Middle linebacker with the big brain. <laughs> his key ratings don't look so good. And his athleticism, not so good either. We're not really looking for a middle linebacker at this time. It is the bye week, so what are we going to do with our extra time? I think I'd rather have the awareness. The XP is fine. I mean, wait, is STA n not the same as stamina? I want to see what this is just so I can see what the negative effect is. During our bye week, we will have now plus 7 awareness for all players for one game. We have giant boosts. Minus 5 for all players in the next game. I mean, maybe we do some workouts, but like, come on. Uh, well, uh-oh. Well, I accidentally delegated <laughs> my focus scouting players to my scouts, so that's great. I mean, they did just recommend me like an absolutely terrible person. That's fine, though, because truth be told, and we will get into scouting uh, next week probably a little bit more, uh, I'm doing actually a pretty good job scouting the positions I'm interested in. A lot of the players are like 75, 95% complete. Next week, we have a breakout wide receiver against Minnesota a supposedly bad team so this might be a great opportunity to upgrade one of our players dev traits until then though thank you for watching ta-ta